Hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be using brand new products from Simon Says Stamps Celebrate Release. And in particular, I'm going to be using the brand new Chelsea Floral Embossing Folder. I love working with embossing folders because they add so much dimension to your card projects. And one of my favorite ways to use them is to actually color them like it's a stamped image. This is a really fun and forgiving way to color because there are no lines to stay inside of and you get a really beautiful artistic look. So this is the Chelsea embossing folder and it does come with coordinating dies to cut some of these flowers out. However, I'm not going to use the dies, I'm just going to use the embossing folder. Because I want to watercolor this, I am going to use some watercolor paper. I picked out Strathmore's cold press watercolor paper that gives me a really nice texture. And I really enjoy how this watercolor paper takes waters, colors, and allows you to blend them out pretty easily. So I'm going to be using watercolors I have in my stash. You don't need to use anything in particular here, although I do like Daniel Smith and Winsor and Newton watercolors, which is what I have in my palette. I have a mix of both in them. But I have also used other watercolors such as Altenew and Prima for another type of watercolor that you could try as well. Those are also very nice. Now I'm going to watercolor in layers. I've colored all of the leaves to start in a couple of shades of green, and I only did one layer of color, just a wash over each of them. Then I'm coming back in with those same green shades that I used, but I'm adding additional shading on top of that. And I am blending some of it out, but I am also allowing there to be a little bit of a line delineation between the first layer and the second layer, and that just adds some interest in my opinion, but you could also smooth it out if you'd like. I'm going to do the same thing with the flowers. So here I'm coloring in a wash of blue on each of the flowers, and then I come back in and I drop in additional, more intense color, and this time I don't blend it out as much as I did the wash. So that's giving me some shading, and it's very forgiving. You do not have to make this perfect. Actually, making it imperfect is what makes this look so cool. So I find this as a really fun and easy way to watercolor because there's no pressure. So you'll notice I then worked on coloring in the pink flowers and also I added a pop of yellow here and there for some of the others. I'll color in some shading on each of these just like I did for the other flowers. I also colored in the stems with some brown and I did use one shade of brown but then watered it down in certain spots so that way I had some variation in the color intensity. That just makes it look a little different without having to use another color. And I am using a small brush to color this in. I think this brush size is about a two, and that's a really nice size for something like this because then it really can get into some of the nooks and crannies more easily. So here is my finished watercoloring all set, and now I wanna add some color to the background. What's fun with watercolors is how you can use them with other mediums. So here I'm actually going to use Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink, and this one happens to be the butter color. I also paired that with Sprout, and the brand new Sky Ink that's in the Celebrate collection. This is a gorgeous shade of blue, and it's part of a trio of other blue shades that are fantastic and complement the Simon line beautifully. So this is just adding some color to my background, and then afterwards I came back in with some white ink. This is a spray ink from Dina Wakely. I'm just going to splatter that across my background to create some interest. I was going for an elegant look here, so I decided to add some gold edging to my paper. I'm going to do this by using embossing ink and then sprinkling embossing powder on top. So I'm just going to put this ink around the edges of my paper, which is going to give me some ink that I can then press into some powder, and that'll get the powder to stick and get me that really cool gold edging, almost as if it was hand painted with some gold paint. I think that looks really cool. So I'm just sprinkling Simon Says Stamp gold embossing powder across the edges, dipping my paper into it to really get that coated. And of course, always make sure you tap off the excess so that way you don't have any powder sticking to places you don't want it. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my heat tool and set this. And that's going to give me this gorgeous gilded edge across my paper. It's not 100% perfect because as you can see, I have some spots that are a little heavier than others, but I wanted that because that allows me to get that really cool hand painted look without having to actually paint it myself. So to finish off my card, I am going to glue this onto an A2 card base. This is a top folding Simon Says Stamp card base. This is going to be a relatively flat card, so it will be easy to mail. I decided for a greeting that I'm going to use the brand new Just a Note stamp set and also the Just a Note die from CZ Design. It's part of the Celebrate release, and I'm going to die cut the die from not only some matte gold cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, but also some vellum too to use as the backing layer. 
What I really love about this set is that the stamp set comes with so many touching greetings, things that say a little bit more than just happy birthday or thank you. It's a really nice heartfelt message that I'm going to actually stamp on the inside of my card. So I'm going to use the new Night Ink. This is again part of that same trio of blue colors that just came out in the Celebrate release. And that's going to give you this really nice greeting that's going to tie nicely with the colors of my card, but also finish off the greeting that I'm going to add on front. So to glue my die cuts together, I'm just going to go ahead and stack them onto the vellum layer. I did die cut the sentiment from a white sheet of cardstock as well, so that way I had a slight bit of dimension underneath of my gold layer, which will give it some relief off of my vellum. It's just going to add a little bit of extra depth and make the sentiment a bit more substantial. I did pop this up by tucking a few small foam strips behind my sentiment, just finding a place that will allow them to not be noticed through the vellum and then I'm going to glue that sentiment along the bottom of my card. To finish things off I did use some Nouveau drops in some transparent colors. I picked out yellow and blue and I thought these would look really pretty as little droplets in the background of my card just to add a little extra touch of interest there like a dew drop effect but it's not going to take away from all of our coloring. Well that's gonna do it. That is the card that I made with the Simon Sustant Celebrate release. I'm especially loving this Chelsea floral embossing folder. It's such a beauty. You could use this in so many different ways. So if you want to check out the products that I use, including that embossing folder and the sentiments that I picked out as well, you can find everything down in the video description. Or if you're watching this on my blog, you can scroll down to the bottom of the post and you'll find picture links. I will be back very soon with more to share, actually quite soon in fact, because on Saturday, April 20th, I'm going to be participating in Simon Says Stamps Celebrate Release Blog Hop. So I hope you'll join me then so you can see even more inspiration using this awesome collection of products. Thank you so much for tuning in today, friends. Until next time, have a wonderful day.